I'm live. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today's live broadcast from sunny California. I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the Jewel Tool. And on today's show, we're repairing a smashed ring. Basically, a ring that was stepped on. It's a little laggy. Okay, so I think we're live on YouTube. So today's broadcast is live. So we've been experiencing some kind of internet issues. We had to have a technician come out yesterday. So fingers crossed on today's presentation. So this is the smashed ring. Oh, you're going to reload? Okay, we're going to reload Facebook. So we're going live. We go live on both YouTube and Facebook. And if you want to find us on YouTube, on Facebook, um, our YouTube channel is Jewel Tool USA. And then our Facebook is on our business page, Jewel Tool. And basically, YouTube, I, a lot of people say YouTube has better resolution. You know, you watch on your big screen, very good resolution. Facebook also is pretty good, um, but Facebook the pros on that is there's a lot of interaction on Facebook so if you want to hear what people are saying what comments they're posting and if I just randomly you know repeat a comment it's basically on the Facebook um, stream the live stream so but today's show will be repairing an amethyst ring silver with a cabochon hopefully that cabochon will stick if not we'll have to re-glue it um, so I'll be using my Thurston, the new Thurston ring mandrel to repair it. It's really nice. So it's quite smashed, you guys. But the good thing is, is the stone didn't crack during its smashation. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Make up words here. However, it's really, it's, <laughs> it's special now. So I've been known to repair rings that were literally run over in a parking lot with a car. And I brought it back to life. Um, like poor, ring. poor ring. Yes, poor ring, Holly. Huh? Hi, Holly. Okay, everyone know. Okay, you guys are quick, man. Okay. Hello, everyone's here. Michelle, everybody's here. Okay. So you guys, let me find my little hole that goes in. So everyone's here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Because you know what today is? You know what today is. Today is Friday giveaway. Woo! Friday giveaway. Come on, sing it with me, people. Friday giveaway. Woo! Yeah. And so to enter into today's giveaway, just hashtag I love my jewel tool in the comment section. Um, so both YouTube and uh, Facebook will be entered into the drawing towards the end of the show. And you are the lucky winner will receive the three-piece mini scratch eraser kit. So one comes mounted on the mandrel and then you get two additional. Um, well, it's okay, it's got fuzz. I grabbed it. Sorry. There you go, there. So I'm going to be using this on today's show to clean up the inside of the ring so you can actually see these perform. A lot of you guys have these, so you guys know how <laughs> delicious they are. So these are just like the scratch erasers that come like this. So these are the mini versions to get into like the inside of rings, inside nooks and crannies. They really are delicious little items. I love them. I want to eat them like candy. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, so you guys, so this is today's giveaway is the set, the pack of three mini scratch eraser wheels. One comes mounted on a mandrel already, and the other ones are replacements. It's really good, and they last a good long time, so it's a good, they're really affordable. So it's free uh, for today's Bye, yay, giveaway. So I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. Yes, I would love to say hello to a lot of people. You are actually, let me see, I got the notification. I could say it. Ooh. Who's asking, Holly? 
Irene, Irene asked, how on earth did I scratch, uh, smash this sucker? So you know what I think happened? I usually have this in my set of uh, jewelry at a trade show. And I think that this fell on the floor and someone walking by went and smashed it. So it wasn't smashed to begin with. <laughs> it wasn't smashed. So when I was when we were doing that whole cleanup around here, I saw this and I said, oh, my God, who smashed this? So it came out of my trade show stuff. So I presume it was done at a trade show. You know, all those passerbys walk by. Not they're all looking at the pretty beads and jewelry and go schwach and crushed my piece. So it can't stay like this forever. But you know, this happens a lot. When I when I was a bench jeweler and we would get repairs in, this was very popular to see a ring just like this. So I thought I have to repair it anyway, so I might as well do it on a live show and you get to see how the Durston ring manual perform. So let me say hi to everybody. Oh, you guys are quick on the draw. Hi, Carrie. Hello, Myra. Hello. Oh, she's waiting for her car to be finished and she's watching. Can't turn up the audio. Oh, Myra, honest to God, here in Los Angeles, people put turn up audio. They don't care. You're so polite out in Alabama. Hi, Linda. Hello. Hello, Kat. Hi, Deanna Schnitzka. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, Kara Sandorsky. Hello, Heidi. Hello, hello. Hello, yeah, yeah, go. Hello, Diane Burrell. And we've got Marcy. Oh, hi, Marcy. How are you? And it says 11 other people. I don't know who you are, but hello, 11 other people. And then we have Georgiana Chen. But everyone else, if you want a chance to win, it doesn't cost you anything. We pay for the shipping. We send you the free goods. Um, just type in, I love my jewel tool. So Kristen can put your name in the drawing little thing that I pull. And hello, Penny Horton. Hello, Penny, Penny. Hello. And we've got Jim Smith. Hello, Jim. Welcome. And then Teresa Sarnowski. Aw. I really need this today. This has been a week of hell. <laughs> oh, honest to God, you guys, we're at the end of September. I want to know where the year went. How does this happen? How did we get, how, how are we at ha almost Halloween? I'm just, I'm just like you all. I have no idea where it went. It's like I'm just, you know, running the course. Hopefully everything will get better. You know, we're just running on hope and faith. That's all I'm doing. Uh, and we've got Ava. Hi, Ava. Hello, hello. And we've got Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Hello, Margaret Chandel. Hello. Okay, we've got, so every, I'm looking at, oh, and I said hi to Carrie. Hi, Carrie. So you guys, again, for those of you who are just turning to, I can't even talk. Hi, Carol Barnett. She, hi, and Darlene. Boy, you guys are fast. Nicole. Hey, Nicole. So today I'll be repairing. I've been working my batuti off on my jewel tool today. I have orders and an actual show prep for next weekend. <gasps> wow. Congratulations, Nicole. So Nicole has been working on her jewel tool all day today, her little booty off. And she's prepping for a show. Well, we hope that show will be very successful. Rooting for you, Nicole. You're doing good. Right, right, Margaret. It feels like the sh this year vanished is the proper word. Honest to God, it, and it and it also dragged on. It, 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 isn't that weird? Like you know, everyone has a year that they experience good things, bad things, but this year it's true. It's like it vanished, but yet it dragged on. You know, so it's like I can't make I can't make sense of it. I try, and then I just give up. You know, I just let go. What can you do? There's only so much you can do, but we just got to hang on, stay strong. You know, th that saying that this too shall pass, that is my prayer. <laughs> this too shall pass. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Hi, Bonnie's here. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Connie Williams. Hi. Hello, Miriam Walker. Welcome, welcome. So all of you guys that have just joined in, um, I'm repairing this smushy ring. It got smashed. It doesn't fit. doesn't go. So just like I was saying, someone stepped on it. So you guys, I will be working on the bench. So we're going to straighten this out. 
and clean out the inside and then I'll do the outside. So, yeah, I'm a little warm, Kristen. It's a little warmsy here. You know, it's funny because I'm under all these lights. Yara's got all these lights on me. And then I'll be like, you guys, <laughs> kind of sweating here. And everyone else, you see the dogs rolled up in their beds like a little kidney bean. And I'm like, <laughs> it's you like a kidney bean. It is. Hi, Mom, hi Barbara Mumford Witt. Barbara, make sure you hashtag I love my jewel tools. So Kristen puts your name in the drawing. Hello, Melanie Campbell. You too. Oh, you, I didn't think I was going to make it, but you're here. Yes. So you guys, and Wi-Fi is so much better today. You guys. Yesterday, the technician guy came. And so basically, Yara demanded and wanted the router changed. So we think the router was a little, <laughs> had it, you know, it had its, it, it had, it was at the end of its rope. So we had the mo a modem changed. And at first in the morning, Kristen's like, mm, I don't know, Wi-Fi is a little choppy. So I kind of waited a little to go on, air, uh, on live just to see how things were going. So we did like some tests. And so Yarrow gave me the green light. So thank God the Wi-Fi is working. Uh, you know, this day and age, how much we rely on Wi-Fi. You know, with everyone doing Zoom meetings, you know, business is actually being, you know, conducted uh, with Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi was to go out, you guys, I don't think the world would, c uh, would continue. <laughs> right, Kristen? Like, what if your emails, how would you be able to send your emails? You'd be just dealing off your phone on the cellular network, which would be a disaster. Hi, Mo. Hello, hello. Right? I know, Bonnie. Suddenly, October. Where? You know, like my daughter, she's so cute. She brought me some pumpkins at the house. And they're like more decorative. So they were, they're really pretty. I should show you a picture. They're black velvet with gold uh, little... Uh, Handles? No, they're not handles. Stem. Thank you. That's my daughter right there who bought them. Thank you, Alida. Um, and they're really cute. We've got a tall one and a little one. And she walked in with them. And I was like, Halloween already? Like, how did this happen, you guys? So anyways, let's get started. Hi, Evelyn. Hello. Sh boy, Evelyn's on it. Hashtag I love my... Hi, Mo. How are you? Oh, so my... Uh, in Alabama, it's 72. Next week will be 66. You guys, just do your best at, you know, there, the, just a little public service announcement. <laughs> I don't follow the news, but yesterday when I turned the TV on in my room just to relax, for some reason, CNN was on. I try to, I try to ditch all of that. So you guys, as much as you can, Try to be more outdoors places if you go. That's, that's all the message was. So they're really concerned about people who live in colder climates where everyone's kind of moving indoors. So just, that's all I have to say. To yeah, I know, we can't freeze outside. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, on happier notes, let's get started. I'm gonna bang this sucker up. Now look, usually you guys, when I first start something like this, if it wasn't silver, if it was gold, you know, I might have annealed it a little to soften the metal, but it's silver and I don't feel as though it needs any annealing and plus I don't have a torch. So we're going to have to make do with no annealing at this point. But sometimes, especially on a thicker ring, I definitely recommend you anneal just a little, but you have to be careful when you anneal at a stones that can burn. So cover it heavily with boric acid no, if you guys use boric acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went through all the comments. Uh, I'm like this with everybody. Yaro had to do something real quick, so he was he kind of let me fly alone. It was fun, you guys, for a moment. I felt connected to you. I like it. So I'm going to keep looking at those comments. So I'm going to sit down at the bench. So we're going to round this sucker out. So let's get started, guys. Here we go. All aboard. Oh, I just knocked things over. Oops. Have a little sip of some coffee. Cheers to you all. I know. Yeah, I was like, you have your own show. I'm actually going to tilt the jewel tool. I mean, uh, tilt my phone in the little jewel tool slot right here so I can read your comments. You see? I'm very efficient. I'm one efficient woman here. <laughs> so 
let's get started you guys you guys you know it's all smashed we don't have to go through this again and what's concerning to me you guys the shank is quite thin so you have to be really careful because you're gonna have we're gonna have to polish that but the one nice thing with the jewel tool is I'm gonna actually repair and s clean up all of this ring with no sandpaper that's right you heard it here first so first I'm gonna round the little sucker out so there we go so I'm gonna use the really nice you guys the Durston uh, ring mandrel oh it's a little sticky still hold on oops remember this is brand new I haven't really messed with it since I unboxed it that day so it's beautifully finished you guys let's just make sure it's nice and clean I had to take all the oil off greasy greasy not sticky I don't know anything greasy is sticky to me so whatever you are don't pay too much attention to my detailed words um, and it goes up to a size 16 you know most conventional ones this is the one I grew up with as you can tell it's very used like seriously very used and this only went up to a size 15 so I find that pretty cool that this one goes up to a size 16 and as you can see the handle has a nice grip action to it so they really did um, work and improve that handle to make it nice you know comfortable grip right here really nice and none of it is sharp so it's all nicely um, machined very nicely machined I could see it so versus just a plane you know I'm used to boring old I'm used to the boring stuff you know this is what my dad made me learn on so all those people that say oh the jewel tool makes things easy you have to learn to do things the right way and the hard way no 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 I have learned everything the hard way and it, if anything it stumps you from advancing yeah it makes you feel like you're doing something wrong when you're not so you know yes you know you can back you can still make a phone call with a rotary dialed phone but is it faster is it efficient can I do that on the go no so why do I have to learn how to make a phone call this way when I can just go I don't want to say her name hey you know who and she dials a number for me why would I not do that so the same kind of concept apply for you know working with jewelry new technology is out there to make things easy fast and efficient what well, why would you not want to use it so there the so yeah what counts is the result so why would you suffer my hands don't want suffering my mind doesn't want to, my at the, especially this day and age I want the easiest breeziest thing to make me happy so you guys let's get started so I'm gonna scoop this in here so look if this is not this right now this little tip is not as open as I want so you guys see that so I can't even wedge it in here to straighten it out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my plier that's a half round so what I mean is half round is here and then this one's flat so I'm kind of going to smush it towards stay in one spot okay so I'm gonna stay right here so I'm going to try to open it up just like so there's many different ways you can do this you guys I'm just trying to do the least um, yeah least laborious so I'm even going like this and opening it up I just want to do just a little not too much you guys just just enough to slide so like even you can even do this if your hands can't do it like that use your hands yeah if you can't single-handedly do it well use both and now look you see how it just slides right in so what I'm going to do is oh god it's really sharp in there so something really got messed up in there so as you can see I'm going to gently pull it now you want to do this gently you don't want anything pop uh, snap crackle popping anywhere because any at any given moment if you fry you know something if it's like a little bit you know bent it could crack so you want to do this slowly so I would suggest whenever you're going to do it to give it a twist so do you see you pull back so do you see my hand so I'm holding it up here and supporting it and I'm gonna twist so I'm gonna kind of twist it downward twist it downward and so we're working on a twisting 
as I'm sliding it down, yeah, I'm pushing it downward and as I push it down, I'm twisting. So now when you start to get into an area that it's looking like this, see, we're looking around now, people. We're looking round. Here, can you see that? There, so it's looking round. Oh, that's a good shot, yeah, right there. So you guys see, we still have a ways to go. So what, because this has a stone, I don't want to pound it with a hammer just yet. So an, uh, a way to do it without creating like stress, no, not stretch marks, like more like stress. Like I don't want, because I don't want any stress on the stone or even in like the areas that it was creased because those could snap, your stone could crack, all sorts of things can happen. So you just want to gently keep pulling it in and doing that little twisting action, whatever is comfortable for you. And already, Yaro, take a look at us just doing this simple method. Look at what we've accomplished. Oh, wait, where am I? There am I. There. That's a little too close, Yara. You're blurry. There you go. You see, we just have a little bit of a gap right there. And that's okay. As long as it's hugging the top. Do you guys see how this area is it's closer? That's what's most important because you don't want that to pop. Oh, that's really good, Yara. Do you see how the top has now conformed to the shape of the mandrel? Whereas that, you know, with a little hammer, that'll get fixed right here. Boom, I'll just hit it right there. But this is what's important right here. Okay, so you guys see that? Perfect. So I think I'm good to go. And what's cool is, you guys, um, once it's like this, I don't want to take it off because it might snap back. So let me first apply some kind of pressure here. Now, um, you g what I would suggest is using a rawhide mallet. This won't mar your piece, look. Um, no, jewelers don't use a rubber mallet. We really don't use a rubber mallet. The rawhide, as you can see, mine, I promise to God, is older than things that I own. <laughs> this is really old. You guys, you see this? And here's a tip, you guys. I should show you guys. Do you guys know? Let me ask it. Let me do a poll. I have a question. Do you guys know how to prep a rawhide mallet? You guys know how to prep one? If you guys don't know how to prep one, let me know and I'll, I'll do a show on how to prep a brand new. They're really inexpensive, you guys, but when you get it, they're really hard and like they almost have like this shine, like a shellac shine to it because it's like brand new uh, rawhide. But it has to be soft like this, you guys. You guys see how soft it is? It's like rawhide. It's going to be soft. Soft and, you know, so it won't mar the metal. So I'm just going to hold it here. Always put it somewhere where you've got some stability. And I'm going to hit it gently. Just gently nice. Look how old it is. Like a little tap. And you guys can already see how... It's like powder coming off. That's how old this hammer is. Do you guys see how I was already fixing that one side? No, it's okay, y'all. They, they see good. You guys see how nice and fluid? However, the top hasn't hugged yet. So... This is how I remedy that, you guys. If I want this to completely hug, look. You guys see that? So to completely hug, I'm going to have to push it and push it down on the mandrel. And this will entail this, my, um, my metal, I don't know what you call this hammer, but this hammer is one of my favorite hammers when I would size rings. It's a, it's a jeweler's hammer, but I don't know what the name is. But you get the drill. It's a very narrow tip right here. I really I don't ever use this. So I don't even know what that's for. Um, of this is our thing, our rubber grippers that are under the jewel tool. You guys see it? I actually just stuck it on. It's like a little piece of tape. They're like little rubber things. So if you're worried about it marring the metal, you can do that. Yeah, like maybe furniture protector, something, but there do you guys see how i'm using it so it's not damaging or changing the shape of that area because that area do you guys see it's like soft it has like a little i know christine's like now oh yeah she's trying to prep her hammer so you guys i can sh oh yes okay you guys so this is what i'll do i'll get a brand new one it from Rio um, and I will show you guys how to prep this to make it softy soft 
Yeah, riveting hammer. Kara, Kara, Kara. Okay, so basically I'm just kind of giving it a little whack here and there. So you guys always want to use your bench pin to do this. Like doing this up in the air is not, you can. All right, so if I didn't have this on, I'm going to actually take it off. You guys hear that? You can see how it's hugging so much better. Now, from the looks of it, this was never perfectly round. Look at it, y'all. See that? For some reason, it doesn't look whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it off. And if it doesn't pull off easily, it's always cool to just give it a little tug like just like this. And then that way, a little tap and it'll come off. And so now you have to do the same on the there. So I'm going to actually do a little tap tap. The mandrel is shaped even with and tight the sharp edge okay so I think we're good now I'm gonna give it a good wax so now with this you can give it good wax you guys so we'll be because I have stuff that's gonna fall <laughs> yeah there you can actually tap in midair with you know having something to support in the back is good it'll transfer the energy better yeah so flip this around a few times give it a little give it a little tug back out oh so melon um the gold how are the diamonds set prong bezel flush talk to me melanie because you know what's great for metal burns is the scratch eraser. The mini scratch eraser is just excellent for the burns. Really good because it works the metal, it blends it without sandpaper. You know, sandpaper, you can't just keep, you know, sanding that area down, especially around your stones. So you guys take a look, see, we're out for now <laughs> and nothing cracked. Yes. I you keep your stones cool when like you're annealing anything with stones. Now I don't have experience with cool jewel, cool yeah, gold, where you know water to flow. We would the stone questionable, you know, if it's susceptible to cracking or burning. So we would put like we would put like a chunk of that powder on it and allow the degenerated degenerated alcohol, boric acid. But it's the one that you, California has banned. We can't use it anymore. <laughs> the gen okay, so there. So I'm just kind of bending this back. This was a little bent, and I think we're good to go. So we're good, Yarrow. We're good. Look, I had, you know, some stress. So the inside has some stress from being bent. You guys see me paper in. You guys see, oh, you guys can see it. It's like really, hold on, let me keep going. Get my fingers out. Hold on, well, Yara, I'm trying to get my fingers out. So it's got a lot of marring. Do you see that? So a lot of marring. So I'm going to show you guys how to remedy the marring. So let's do, no, I'm going to do a lot of work with my, you can all, but it's like the inside. And I'm, I never use them. Done. So it's one of those things. Touch eraser. Like, oh man. No playing whack a finger, Annie. I'm re ready, so I'm gonna get that center area. Let me get my fingers out. So holding on. So just kind of wiggling it back and forth, you guys. Kind of blending that metal. We'll begin with it wasn't like the finest finished piece to be honest with you i remember buying this as a demo from tucson maybe like i want to say like seven years i was at the guest wine do you see that do you see how smooth that's there do you guys see that isn't that lovely uh, yeah i my phone is freezing barbara i love you hi ava wendy i need the mid yeah, the god you guys this is the metal just like it does outside Are you seeing what i'm seeing like if this was sandpaper we'd be making this way thinner than it was so we don't want this shank and this ring to get any thinner so the scratch eraser is like the perfect solution 
my hands in the way okay sorry this is so hard to do so i think we're good you guys Quick it is to clean it let's go ahead and show you guys what we're talking about you guys see that oh yeah that's good yeah you see how clean that all got so it's like the scratch eraser but for the inside and it's great for like if you need to do liming or right here they're really nice at getting into tight spots as well <laughs> it's stuck on my finger so they're they're like lovely little suckers and there you go you guys that concludes the inside oh all the polish just a high polish we don't have to go through any more emery paper steps isn't that just lovely you guys i used to go through those rolls those cartridge rolls oh my people sell them make a lot of money selling them because they wear out and people have to buy another group of them you know they wear out so fast they remember ripping and getting a new fresh one you know those cartridge rolls so i'll either use the run true uh in the narrow because see how it fits just perfectly or I can use just fine. They're both felt. So now we're going to work quick. How quick we're going to do the outside. But things happen fast. You know, and for everyone that says, oh, from all those people that say you got to do everything by hand. How about that? So if you have to file by hand, why don't you polish the and do the inside ring by your hand, huh? <laughs> just joking. Being a little snotty, a little. So you guys, this is what we actually look. Oh, thanks, Yaro. So it's round, which is the most important thing. Remember to flip everything is symmetric. Nothing happened that inside beautifully. And we did it. So yay! We're already sets you apart from all right. Oh, I'm watching all your comments, you guys. See inside and center diamond are all pronged. Oh, they're all pronged. Ooh. Melanie. You know what, Melanie? So back to Melanie's question about her pearl. They're by thread. I don't know. Can you comment a picture? send a picture um you know if i can get to get into those nooks and nicks. so let's get started because if you i'm just gonna use guys ugh, if it's credit to his or her tools <gasps> well said margaret margaret i'm gonna read this again margaret said something men or woman i love that credit to help you why would you want help as we all we all are oh like, yara's gonna disc what are you gonna do change your they it is wires i don't know <laughs> you know how sometimes you freeze and you're like freeze so you have i don't scare anybody rate is that means <laughs> we'll go back to like remember the days where they just said that's a podcast or in the watch to see them talking <laughs> where they what do you call that i love with you and you know a lot of internet we got to get them they're probably doing that to everybody because remember how i was saying so many people are relying on internet you know Kristen? people are running are <laughs> in their home on a, a large amount of people in their uh they're taking beautiful safety measures they need when they're working at home internet so should i kiss and says <laughs> and show my not her name but someone let's just say that the comments that and it just brought like you guys are and how great but every time i go to comment and saying wow i'm so grateful for every single one of these and then i just get but i will and i, I know who every single one of you guys are and i just want to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart i truly honor it's of something i wanted to say yeah uh, the other day but internet mm, wasn't working so i just want you guys to know how much i appreciate you guys yara says no choice so thank you this one mine i just need a little bit so y if you guys can see a little bit beaten up that freeze like that that's so true wish i had this for my face right to fill the pores Andrew Jeffs, I appreciate you being on the corner. Like it's kind of, you guys can see, it's still there. That does it. Then, by the way, so look, here we are. So I love this scratch eraser. How do the other half around that right now? Oh my, the fluidity. Oh, look, like look. And all I need to do is nothing really happened to that. I remember it. I remember this. 
Yeah, it's very bright here. Do you guys see that right there? Yeah, right there. Look at this. Oh, yes. Goodbye. And goodbye. Don't come back here no more. You see that? Oh, and you see how it doesn't get thin? It's lovely. And you can even do this part, too. Look at that. Woo! Okay, so let's do this side, too. This side's pretty good. That side seems like it got more of the... It was beaten up more. And, you know, if... You see how I'm doing it? And when I do it, I glide and I drop. No slidey offy. Capiche? Where? And then, did I do... How we polish? So... I am going to polish with my felt wheel. Got it? Got it. Awesome. So very beautiful. Okay. So let me, I'll look at, I was reading something. Where am I? So look, when you're doing a bezel, you got to be very fluid. Do you guys see how I'm zhuzhing back and forth? You got to keep it nice and uniform. You can't hop around. It's got to be smooth like this. You see that? Where am I? Bezel. Let me do this edge right. <laughs> Bye, Myra. Her card's ready. She has to go. <laughs> Bye, Myra. I'm just going to hold it here. So you guys, you see how I'm tilting the... P <laughs> how cute, Carrie. I love Hello Kitty. I love them. I would go to the Hello Kitty store. Everything. And I wanted. So I remember I'd go to the Hello Kitty store. Any of the time I would I leave with like it, you know, the little extra, you know, like ah, I got a Hello Kitty. I love forever. My kids wanted something from the Hello Kitty store. Oh, yeah, I'll do the side. Kind of use that edge. And then when I'm going to get to uh, the disc, see that here? Let me smooth that so you guys can see. Hold on, let me show you. It's super smooth. Don't not do this. Don't do it like this. And when you're done, you drop it. Oh, matchbox. Matchbox cats. No one like the matchbox. You do this side too. So I wish really that happens with the jewel tool. So fluid and so easy. So they that side got that I just did this. How Chris oh that's it with my right hand. And just kind of roll. This is a proper slide off. You create an uneven. Hilda said, let's just judge it back and forth. For years. What? Congrats. Hit it with the green brush. That's what we did right here. Pound off. I'm just using my. These are rub marks. Yeah, this would come out in a second with a buff. Yeah, I just want you guys to know something that seconds. Like seconds, Yarrow. But since Yarrow said that, that off. That there's no scratch. But Yarrow said, looks like second, you guys. Inside and come back in after the scratch of Nicole's story. Guys, so Nicole, I'm reading story. My character with the sword. Actual outfit. Her truck on a two-lane highway. Are you? <laughs> you are way. Six. <laughs> <laughs> like the Madonna boobs. Cher just started to... This ring was smashed. We used the scratch eraser on the inside. I'll apologize so you guys <laughs> always rock Nicole. It's true. So I'm go ahead and... So since this ring... But just so you know, and it's great for doing like bangle. To first get your run true, you make sure you introduce this hole to this in it. So you put it in to make sure you're going to roll. It's kind of, si you're going to spin. It's like hanging like this. Yeah, I'll exaggerate. Aligned. And then you just hold it. A little wobbly, do it again because you spun it on. It's called run true. It really runs true. There you go. Where'd my ring go? Hold it. Oh, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your, Tom, uh, your time, Tom. Enjoy. She's one lucky woman, Tom. Have a great weekend. Thank you for so much for watching. I don't have it bolted down, you guys. Sorry about that. If you have your jewel tool bolted down, it won't do that. So let's see where we're at. I'm just... And always go back and forth, you guys, or enroll it and 
circles. I'm trying to do this in the jewel tools moving. And then when you look, Ayara, can you see that? You see the polish, you guys? No, no, it's fine. It's fine, Yara. It's good. Yeah. You can see the shine. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. Wait, what side was I at? I don't know. They're both good. So I'm going to flip it around. And do the other side. So just make sure it's even. You guys see that? I always used to shove it in there to make sure it's even. And so you give yourself some compound. And you just a little bit more, just making sure I got everywhere. In the in that area that's a little soft and fluffy, I kind of remove any kind of excess compound. You see that? And kind of work that as like a little buffer. Let me clean that up. Wow, that looks gorgeous. Let me hold on. Let me clean that with a little compound right here. Beautiful. Woo! Oh, it looks great. So look. Yeah, I'll show it to the overhead camera. We got better visual here. You guys see that? Hold on. Let it focus, Yara will say. You see how easy it is to polish? Look at all the way in there, too. <laughs> all the way in there. It's okay. The compound will just come out. I'll just wipe it off. No big deal. No biggie D. No, it's fine. There's no compound. The compound's in the, the hole. No, there's no compound. Where's the compound? See, these lights are not reflective of what it sees. Like, look, if you come back to this uh, this one, where it has normal light, Yarrow, look at the way it looks. You see that? There, it's 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 a different polish. Let me show all the way to the end, too. You see the inside here? Yeah. You see how polished it is? Very nice. So now let me do the outside. So this outside, it's always going to get like this from your leather. So don't worry. We're going to kind of polish that off anyways. I'm actually going to use the magic buff. So I kind of want to get rid of some of this compound. Aw, thank you, Debbie Shear. She says her jewel tool is her favorite tool. Hi, Judy. Judy Craig's watching. Hello, Judy. Thank you, Debbie Shear. Okay, so there. What I'm going to do now, you guys, is I'm going to use the green brush to get into the nooks and crannies, and then we'll hit it with the magic buff. So, look, even if you I got compound on it earlier from that buff, you guys... I'm going to just use the green brush to kind of get rid of all that green compound. You guys see that? And look at how it'll just polish that whole area. Yeah, no, be, no. And you can use that for, you know, to get rid of some of the compound and then hit it with a magic buff. I mean, honest to God, it's not, you know, rocket science, you guys. Just polishing a ring. On the jewel tool. Very nice. Nothing wants to pull out of your hands. Look at that, you guys. So smooth and polished. So now the rest, I'm going to get rid of the compound. That's a good way to get rid of compound. Use your green brush. So you got into that nook and cranny here. Let me just make sure. I got in there. Very nice. Beautiful. Let me go in this direction too because remember it sweeps. So you got to be mindful of where you want it to sweep. So there, we got in there, we cleaned that up. Let me sweep up any kind of compound in this area. Mm -hmm. And if you really want it to be a little softer, what you do to make the bristles softer, you slow the speed of the bristles down. Look at that. They kind of kind of flicker in there, and then now it really gets into there. Do you guys see that? So you know, utilize the speed to your advantage. Beautiful. Let me hit it on that side too. You know, get really into that nook and cranny and nice, so now it's nice and clean. You guys see that? And then I'll hit it with 
the magic buff and we're done. Yay. You see? Even this is gorgeous. But we'll just hit it with the magic buff just for good measure. You know? The what happened? Okay, so here, magic buff running at full speed. Just a quick little polish right here. You see that? Really pretty shine. You see how pretty shine that gets? Just a real quick, right there. Right there. Here, right there, and then you'll see the shine just come up. Look at that. Let me get rid of some of that compound. We're going to do the drawing. Oh, there was some compound there. Hold on. Let me get rid of some of that compound. Hold on. There you go. There we go. Oh, look at that shine. We can hit the side too because no compound will get in there. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Really pretty. And there we go. And voila. So we have nice pretty bezel. Oh, so uh, Bobby, guess what? When it comes to silver, it's always going to turn gray really is honest to god it will turn gray after use yeah so what what's a quick a quick polish if it turns gray and it still it doesn't have scratches is this green brush you guys green brush or the magic buff really really quick fix because you know after a while it will turn you know they call it the silver gray so for now it looks like it's white gold rhodium plated. I do notice the same thing. Could it help teach us on how to get the compound out of place so we have to polish them? That's always my point. Yes. So whenever compound gets into the nooks and crannies, people, you have a motorized tool that is safe and easy to use. Use your green brush. Let this be your broom. Let this be the little pick to pick out any compound in the nooks and crannies. Because when I'm at a trade show, you guys, I don't have time or I don't even have an ultrasonic where I can clean or wipe. So I really rely on the green brush or I really, or sometimes I really rely on my wipe. So honest to God, if you've watched my videos even in Germany, you'll see that I rely heavily on the wipes and I rely heavily on the green brush to get rid of and melt that compound away. Push that compound away. You know, like, wash that gray away. Wash that compound away. <laughs> Wish I can use this on the grays. <laughs> yeah, the ring does not show where it was bent. Honest to God. You know, I totally forgot that it's true. The ring does not show where it's been bent at all. You see that? It's so pretty. Look at the fluidity near the bezel. And look at the shank. Let's show the shank. The shank is still usable. It, it's intact. It didn't, you know, do both sides too. No, I, I didn't, you, yeah, the scratch eraser on uh, the sides and on the ring and the inside and nothing was shrunk. You see that? It actually looks thicker. How does it look thicker? I don't know. It's magic. Just like Susan said, when I figure out how to use that scratch eraser to fill in the wrinkles, dude, I'd be a multi-billionaire right now. But right now, we can smooth off wrinkles off of metal <laughs> without taking away. So thank you guys so much. It actually looks pretty. I'm going to actually wear it. There. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Oh, let me move. From Trashola to Wowza Gazauza. Honestly, Yaro says he's impressed. However, I'm going to tell you guys a little inside scoop. It didn't even look this good when I bought it. Honest to God. 
it looked like you guys said that gray color look beaten up uh, it looked but see if they had taken the extra measures and finished it properly they could have sold it for more because it looks so trash i really bargained with the guy and i said come on give me a better price and he didn't he didn't even budge <laughs> And it's round. It's round, people. Yeah, so I've been wanting to do this ever since I saw it smashed. So, ooh, a little tight there, Ani. I had a little too much salt last night. Finally, good signal. Thank the Lord. Thank you. So, thank you. I know, actually, it is pretty. Not a pretty, de not a bad design, you guys. Really pretty, even though my hands are a little dirty. But, hey, but let's, like, take a look, you guys. I finished. Here, let's, let's, let's wait, 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 wait. Let's go, let's go through the whole thing. I finished a smash ring inside out, start to finish, and look at my hands. Please look at my hands. This is the extent of my hands. That's it. This is the one that did majority of the work, the right. This one just stuck around for guidance. Look. Now, we're talking stress and preservation on your hands people they i didn't stress my hands at all it was fun actually it was like you know it's like a i was gonna say like a like a challenge can i do this you know is it gonna work and we're done and i'm like hi how you doing you know what i mean i clean you know people always at trade shows especially jck where there's tons of jewelers there and work on the big polishing machines. They're always, I always wear white. So everyone knows me as a girl in white. And so they freak out. They're like, how are you polishing wearing all white? And I'm like, oh, you haven't seen the jewel tool, sir. <laughs> Let me show you. And they're like, what? You're not using all these Tripoli and all these compounds? And I'm like, no, I don't rely on a buff to get detailed finishes. That's the difference. We rely on newer technology. So you guys, and I, the and then the shop owners want jewel tools. And then when the, wh when the employees get the jewel tool, they stare at it like cavemen, like what is this alien looking tool? <laughs> so some of them adapt really good. And some of them that have been there for years Without, as soon as they start playing on the jewel tool, you guys, you want to hear this? I get, the, I used to get this a lot. I still do. They tell the owner that no, this tool's no good, and they're like, "Why it's no good? I saw her demonstrate at the show. She got porosity out, got beautiful edges. What do you mean it's no good? Because you guys, the polisher and the jeweler feel threatened because now they know that." with the jewel tool they could be replaced with someone with zero experience it's that easy so i've run into that too many times sometimes i'm like you know i'm not even worth it's not even worth me trying to convince you guys you know but the owner's like please we'll fly you out here please train my team and staff and i'm like i've done that a few times you guys but for the most part i'm glad you guys are enjoying everything that I hoped and dreamed for and worked hard on the jewel tool, you guys. And we did this. Yay. Oh, it looks pretty. Kristen, you see it? It's a ring. I made this for you, Kristen. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, it's true, Margaret. Margaret said she usually likes a little patina around the details, but she says this one, she doesn't think it's necessary. It has enough details to, you know, to show contrast. You know, I like patina, but I like patina, I would say, controlled. You know, some people put patina over the whole thing to mask all their boo-boos. Well, guess what? It's not being masked anything. All I see is a bunch of black. So patina should be used. You know how I feel about patina as contrast, bring out per shine leave some you know mats to bring out the contrast but yeah i know right margaret i agree with you this doesn't deserve patina this is pretty just the way it is it doesn't warrant patina doesn't need warrant 
so you guys i appreciate today christian actually has a uh, the p i'm gonna put my ring on hold on maybe this will give me good luck while i'm picking the winner of today's prize good luck to the winner you guys here we go i love how we use our organizers <laughs> okay you guys here it goes oh there's a lot of people today I know, I need one of those clear wheels. B10. <laughs> you know, you are the bingo balls that they do in the other uh, thing. This is my version. Like, I shake it. I do a little dance. I go like this, put it under my leg, bring it up. Yara didn't catch that. Bad cameraman, Yara. Oh, uh, Susan. What did Susan say? I could read. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. Let me pull the thing real quick, you guys. And we have. Let me mix it. Okay, now I close. Huh? <laughs> Hold on. Let me pull. Pass it under the leg one more time. And here we go. Who's this? I can't see it. Who is it? Who's the name? I don't know. Dwayne Prentana, congratulations, Dawn. I can't even read. Dawn Price. Dawn Price Hannah, congratulations on the mini scratch erasers. <laughs> Woohoo! I'll put that right here. Oh, someone was hanging off. The what price? How to claim the prize. Just send us a message with your address so we know where to send it to. That's all. Very simple. So congratulations, Dawn Price. Dawn Price. Congratulations. You won. You won the mini scratch eraser set. Valued at. I don't know how much it costs. But they're not expensive. But they're wonderful. They last a long time. So you guys, I thank you. Margaret said awesome prize. Oh, hi, Glenda. You're so cute. Okay, you guys. So, uh, you guys are so sweet. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you guys know that we launched a sale. You guys know we have a sale going on, another sale. I keep doing it, you guys. I just like want you guys to really take advantage of stuff. And we still have free shipping over $149. Um, right, Kristen? Kristen, are these still pre-order price? The inside, the true, really? So these are still pre-order price. No one changed it. <laughs> Those are still pre-order price. The extra, extra course, new diamonds are all pre-order price. And the vacuums, whoever ordered the vacuums, know that we will be shipping them out next week. So um, if you have, if you want a vacuum and you want to make sure you have a vacuum before we sell out i encourage you to buy it because it's free shipping on it and just the shipping alone you'll save like 30 some odd dollars so the good one i've been spent i've been spending a lot of money on shipping these days to be quite honest with you um uh to be really we've been either shipping ups priority mail um first class meal and very light items because I don't know, you guys. They're not doing very good, the USPS. I was just talking to my postman out there. And when I told him I'm shipping the way I am, he goes, very smart of you. <laughs> so I just want you guys to know I really value you guys uh, as wonderful friends, customers, and family members. And I do everything on my end to help you guys out. Make sure you get your packages. So remember, these are still pre-order, both sizes. Really? God bless it. Okay. And the double scrubbies are also on sale, just so you know. I have these here, so I'm whatever I have in front of me, <laughs> you should just pan across here. <laughs> whatever we have here, they're pre-order and on sale, I guess. And then I have limited, oh, these are limited. I, s I think I s kicked some down today earlier. So the diamond, the inside diamond we, uh, mandrel, this one, actually, I lost one. There's another diamond. Just I'll go through it real quick, but I can't. I gotta take this off. I knocked them all down. Just so you guys know, I only have these very limited amount of the diamond mandrels. Very, very limited. So if you, it comes actually four different grades. One's mounted. Um, 
this is a limited right now they're telling me very limited stock you guys so a lot of you guys had pre-ordered it and so i have limited stock on that just so you know same with the run true cones these are very limited so you guys i want to wish you a fabulous fabulous weekend thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, again appreciate and love you i'll see you guys out in social media land um but for now I'm going to wish you a fabulous weekend. I'm Ani with Jewel Tool, and I just love you guys with all my heart. Thank you so much for all your kind support, and have an awesome weekend. Enjoy it. Tomorrow's promise to no one. So with that, I send you guys lots of love and good and blessings. Thank you, Heidi. I appreciate that. You know I appreciate that. Anything you need. Ah, uh, thank you, Margaret. Thank you, guys. I really, really, really appreciate every single one of you guys. You know I'm here for you. If you guys need anything, I'm there. I, I help you out whenever I can. And, and, Mary, and I'll be getting to Melanie's uh, ring. Melanie, let me take a look at the picture in your story and I'll be in contact with you. I'll talk to you and see how we can work and clean up that um, burn marks. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, love you all. Sending you all my love and I'll see you guys here next Tuesday. Bye for now. Mwah!